Hey, good morning. This is Pastor Jerry with another slice of toast from the Bread of Life. How are you today? Hey, I hope you woke up in a good mood and, and happy. The other night, we were watching one of those, uh, well, you know, those heartbreaking movies that when you leave, you feel sad and sorry because the, the good people die and, and it doesn't end the way that you think. And sometimes in life, not everything that we do ends the way that we like. Maybe you're going through that today, but I, I was reading Psalms 100, the whole Psalms. It was such a wonderful thing. It says, make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful in turn and bless his name. For the Lord is good and his mercy everlasting and his truth endureth to all generations. Wow. I like what the Psalms 24 says, uh, he maketh to lay down in green pastures. That's a shepherd that wants to feed us and supply us and keep us in peace and harmony. I, I don't know why the devil works so hard to get us depressed, get us discouraged, to tear us apart. But I know that God wants to lift us up. He wants to, to bring us to that place of joy unspeakable and full of glory. He promised you great joy, not joy as the world knows it, but His joy. In Acts 2, 46 and 48, it says, and they continued daily with one accord in the temple, breaking bread from house to house, and did eat their meat with gladness and singleness of heart praising God and having favor with the people. And the Lord added to the church daily. Perhaps that's why the devil doesn't want you to be happy. Maybe that's why he doesn't want you to come to church and, and, and be in a good mood and see the good things that God's doing. Perhaps that's uh, something that we need to turn around. But Paul wrote to Philippians. He was real careful about this, you know. I, I think there were a lot of tribulations and trials going on. They were out to kill the church, to destroy it. The devil had the, the world riled up and turned against them and they had nothing good to say about those followers of Jesus. But Paul wrote to the church of Philippians and he said this, Rejoice in the Lord always. And again I say, rejoice. I think that when we think about what God's done for us, when we remember the things that, that have happened and the things that others have blessed us with, the things that God has, promises that God has kept. And we remember that Jesus died on the cross for me and you. Then I think we have a lot to rejoice in for. Hey, start today with a praise for the Lord. Thank the Lord, just thanking him for the cross if nothing else, and be glad in it. Hey, this is Pastor Jerry with another slice of toast for the better.